What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna run through a, another commentary here. Uh, this was a recent game that was played on High View against Throne Fetty. This is HRE versus My Deli. Um, so we are gonna follow along from my perspective here. Uh, <clears throat> now up against HRE, my default build is gonna be a look towards a faster castle and then kind of adjust based on what he's gonna do if he's gonna go fast castle or if he's gonna try to go with any uh, sort of feudal aggression so just a standard opening here for me <clears throat> so I open up with uh, uh, make one pass of wood with my five villagers get the mill up get the mosque a house so I'll have eight on food here and I'll start rallying to gold uh, let me switch this over to bills per resource <coughs> so I'm just scattering around the base picking up the uh, close sheep here Now the our opponent here, Throne Fetty, um, what I was able to find just before the game was starting, um, he is primarily an HRE main. Um, I think he's currently a plat to right about 1200 ELO per AOE 4 world. So doing pretty good here so far with sheep. Uh, so now we've got <clears throat> nine on food. We're gonna rally one more to gold and then start rallying to wood. For a few now again typically um, I would age up with four bills um, against the HRE with the look to the fast castle build um, a lot of times I'll do that with three and this one I kind of go a hybrid here to like I said as we're waiting to kind of verify what exactly they've got going on so we want to go find him and see what we can figure out <clears throat> right now we're yeah nine on, nine on food three on gold and we're rallying to wood okay pretty good scores on the sheep here which tells me he's probably only got one scout all right so we're gonna move four off of the food um, kind of forget what I'm doing here and I start moving one from gold one from food like I normally would and I catch myself um, I'm gonna send them back so I still got the four agent up and I'm gonna leave three on gold five on food all right we know he's got to be around here somewhere we got 10 sheep. Okay, so there's the TC. We've got the big wood line here. We are at four on wood now. It should stop there. Yep, so now we're going to rally gold. Uh, I think we'll rally to five on gold and then we'll start going to food here. So at 10 sheep. All right, so he's off the gold. I see that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, a couple of things. Might be on stone. Went by the stone at the front. Yeah, and he did have the Aachen at the front on the stone, so we know he's probably going 2TC, which... Like you see here, I've already moved one of my age up bills. <laughs> if he's going 2TC, I also want to fast castle that. That's going to open me up to take um, all of the relics and try to get the sacred sites. Uh, actually, <clears throat> did not <clears throat> need to take this pass at wood here. 
All right, there we see it. He's on the stone. Also want to see if he's got any military production over there to worry about. Uh, if we're going to need to worry about units. So we haven't thrown down any of our own yet. All right, so we see he's got the barracks. Just one barracks. Right upon age up, I queued up three scholars. That's all we're going to queue up for now. I've also got the text queued up. Researching sanctity. All right, no military production yet. I could go ahead and just throw it down. I'm not sure what exactly we're waiting for here. Just waiting to see <clears throat> if he's going to show up with units and I need horsemen, or if we get to age up freely and go straight to um, crossbows. All right, and there we got the news. Um, we have a minute arms on the gold, so we're going to abort there and get the stable down. All right, he's going to come over for food also. And just in time, we drop off our herd of sheep. And so we're going to fall back to the town center with that as well. All right, we've still got our four vills out here. I'm building this with two vills so I can get a horseman out and at least try to defend this before it gets too ugly. I mean, we're right there to um, being able to try to age up. We got one more. That'll be all of the scholars that we have coming. We're gonna queue up a couple horsemen. There's another men at arms, so we got two men at arms on us. <laughs> We're gonna bait this one into the TC and we garrison with the food bills. See you later. So gave away one there. Now we got a little something to fight back, and I've got three scholars here if I need to. Um, this would actually do pretty well against the men-at-arms. So we're going to look to move out, start taking these sacred sites so we can age up. If he's got men-at-arms, he can't be everywhere. Alright, we can rally back to gold. Got all 22 of these food bills uh, huddled up over the sheep over here. Right, we've got the archery range down now as well. Just in case he starts showing up with spearmen. Um, and also we're going to transition that to crossbows once the age up happens here. We got two of these in the works, one in the center, one in the far right. It's going to take me a little bit to get down on the far left, uh, top left side. All right, now that we have that secure, we're going to look to start causing some problems on this side. So I, I queued those military units around to his gold. Um, Scholar, I'm going to drop back here for the relic once we age up. Should be coming any moment here. All right, and the age up is coming through. You can see we are aging up with the compound defender. It's a nice little score here. Found some bills. We're going to idle at eight bills there. So since we're going pretty early, we're not in a real big hurry to age up super fast. Um, 
I lost track of this over here. Yep, just keep going away at it. Um, you took advantage of me. Not paying attention. Uh, at least we have these rules idled, but... See, as we get close to agent here, we're gonna get these uh, scholars in position. We got one, two, three of them ready to go. Uh, they actually took care of that men at arms, and now they're attacking the mill, unfortunately. All right, then we start snapping up these relics. Um, so yeah, he. Obviously, he's not in Castle yet. I'm not sure where he's at um, as far as his process, but uh, still dealing with that tower. That scholar's going to bring me Relic home. And I'm aged up, and I don't have uh, I don't have my blacksmith down here yet. I'm also not getting herbal medicine or any other upgrades for that matter. So, uh, rule number one, get the free upgrades. But in spite of that, we're coming home with three relics, and we're going to be venturing back out for the last two here shortly. He is still not castle. Uh, and we are now making our military units. We're going to start hitting the field here. So he's likely got that second TC, um, massing up more vills, which we can see here is the case. Um, uh, but in reality, um, we've got the three sacred sites, so that's 450 gold a minute. So I have no bills on gold and we're a little over 500 a minute, <clears throat> 450 a minute from the sacred sites. And then pick that one up in these, what, 80 gold a minute for the relics to be 400, so 850 gold a minute. Without a bill on gold, so that's uh, I don't know, 20, 21 bills. So that villager discrepancy isn't quite what it seems. All right, so he just aged up with castle. Um, we're not sure. We're about to find out here if that's a Birdgrave or Regnants. If you went Regnants, um, what a waste. Rallying out to the middle of the map. Uh, also, a little late on researching, but we've got Compound Defender. Or, I'm sorry, Village Fortress's technology coming in. Uh, now we're going to get the Blacksmith down. Alright, so we are... Yep, we're sending out crossbows. Crossbows and knights. We've already picked up six vil kills, so we knocked that down. Um, spot that tower there. This being a little bit annoying, obviously he's gonna have yeah emergency repairs. I'm not gonna be able to take that down. We don't have our scholars out here yet either. Um, I'm gonna get that village fortresses come in as quick as possible. Right, so we see the bills. We're gonna run there. Let's see. Actually, look on the back side here too. Um, with my age of villagers, I mine the stone. And I pulled them around to castle this woodline. Right, and we're also trying to break in the backside of his base, being annoying a little bit. You can actually see me here with that tower. Uh, however, I don't think he knows about that castle yet. Again, you see ten bill lead after we took out the six bills, but still. A little bit behind, probably on eco, even with 
the bonuses. Alright, there's a second TC on the gold. Just over to you see here, no vills on gold for me, him either, actually. We'll switch to resource per minute. Alright, so the castle goes up and we clear this wood line. Get them to work. We're actually gonna start stealing his wood. Okay, and here we go. Snagging some more bills. Uh, waiting for his army to show up here somewhere. Now up to 11 worker kills. Um, he's still got the bill lead. So this is all we see here. We know he's in pretty good trouble. Now we see the uh, uh, came in on the backside with that army. And we found all the choppers. And it's looking pretty grim for him. I'm just gonna run right past this tower. Uh, go hit that wood line. Yeah, and there's, I mean, he's not much he can do from there. He just can't get enough uh, units out to deal with that. Um, I don't think it's gonna let me look at the scoreboard from here. Yeah, so you can see here. He did go Regnants. Which again, a little bit of a waste for him. Um, let's take a look here. So Vil count gets a little bit of a jump, but by that point, uh, really, I'm probably a little bit ahead in eco. Um, military count, I didn't go super heavy until we aged up, and then he just never really got a chance to get off the ground. Um, it was going to be tough for him going regnants and getting enough production buildings, especially when I cut off that main wood line and funneled him into one area there. Uh, you can see, according to this, he stayed pretty even in score. Uh, of course, we know that's not necessarily accurate. Um, so yeah, I uh, thought that was an interesting one there. I know two TC is pretty common uh, build with HRE, uh, but looks like it makes for a hard time against the Delhi. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.